Congratulations. How does it feel that your film is here at the DTLA Fest Film Festival? Oh, it's very humbling and um, very rewarding. You know, making a film is uh, very hard and having an opportunity to share it with an audience is always a very humbling experience and just really excited about it and just happy to be able to share it. So where did the original idea came from for River Runs Red? Yeah, I mean, as artists, we look to comment on and maybe contribute to different discussions and things facing our country. And violence, you know, um, with citizens is an issue. And I just felt like I had a voice or some things that I maybe contribute. Being a former attorney working inside the system, um, just felt like it would be nice to be able to examine an issue, this issue, um, from the point of view of a judge who was working inside the system and another father who wasn't. Um, to me, the film is somewhat of a modern Western, an urban Western, in the sense of the system mm -hmm. um, is designed to uh, keep us civilized and what separates us a lot from the Wild Wild West. And the question is, what happens when that system that we trust fails us? Um, what are we to do as citizens? So, um, so that's kind of where it came from. Now, I love the cast that you actually selected uh, for the, for this film. Talk about how you managed to gather all of them for your movie here. Yeah, well, honestly, the cast, um, you know, first they responded to the material. Um, they were very passionate about it. Tay and George, um, you know, really uh, responded really quick to the material. And, you know, as the leads also had the most challenging, you know, roles. And um, George himself, you know, is n mostly known to be a comedian. Yeah. Um, but I think, like, people are going to be really impressed and surprised with his dramatic range. I think he did a really great job. Tay has been a stalwart in the entertainment industry, very um, you know dedicated actor, and I felt like he really was able to bring a very uh, connectability with this character to uh, the general audience. So basically, you know, they responded to the material, which I think is first and foremost, and then they trusted me to work with them to help bring it to life, which you know I'm really humbled by that. Now, how did you come to the decision of being a director yourself on this project, and what's some of the most difficult things that you had to do? Yeah, I mean, well, as the writer-director, you know, um, I just kind of took it, you know, for my next project, you know, for the reasons we just discussed, but, um, you know, honestly, um, I heard Spike Lee say one time that making a movie is hard, even making a bad movie, and I've learned that, that, um, you know, you have to be very determined to follow your vision all the way through, and I think the most challenging thing here was, you know, during the shooting, we lost our funding, and we had to rally the troops and just like really keep pushing. And in an independent world, you know, trying to make the most of your resources is very challenging because you don't want to sacrifice the material. Um, and you also want, but you also have limits on what you can do. Um, so that was something I've never faced before. Um, and really proud of the team that we were able to rally together and get it finished. And again, the cast was like amazing to do it. And um, but that's it, you know, just really working. And it was cold in Kentucky. It was really cold. So that was probably the other difficult thing. But shooting in Louisville was amazing. Um, cast was amazing. And, um, you know, just really proud of it. It sounds that uh, you had an overall amazing experience. So uh, so one last thing. What, what's up after uh, all of this? Yeah, right now we are working on a Western uh, about Bass Reeves, the first African-American deputy uh, marshal. Um, looking to shoot that in Oklahoma towards the end of next month. Um, Frank Grillo will be involved and in, um, just working to uh, finish that casting process. And um, yeah, looking to really dig into the Wild Wild West. Excellent. Hey, thank you very much. I can't wait to check it out. All right. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you. All right. Thank you.